So the idea with the neural event triggered fMRI was to record from one, one or more structures and then actually uh, develop the methodology that gets, gets rid of the interference within the magnet and have simultaneous imaging and physiology. You localize events. There are events in different structures that show communication between structures. According to the resolution, you can actually subdivide the brain in reasonable structures. Over time, there is a time course for each one of the structures. And at the moment of the occurrence of an event, whatever this event might be, how many structures are upmodulated? How many structures are downmodulated? If you get an idea, then you can go and stick your electrodes into those structures specifically and learn more details. And if you do that too, and you have multiple recordings, you can determine as events not only a particular event, but sequences of events. You can have basically the stochastic, the probability of occurrence of certain sequence. You have an activation of hippocampus, then of this structure, then of this structure. You can take this sequence to be an event. And then you learn more and more and more about the relationship of communication between two or three structures and the rest of the brain. There are certain events, for example, that are supposed to be involved in memory consolidation. They indicate communication between hippocampus and cortex. You can use these events and see what is the up and down modulation of the whole brain. And if you learn the patterns of modulation of different brain structures, you can use these patterns to find instances of the neural events when they exactly occur. Now, if you substitute these events that have to do with memory with any other events that indicate certain pathology, you have a non-invasive way of localizing, basically, neural activity that relates to something that is of interest to the medical doctors.